happy, loyal, smart. These are the words Cal Poly sophomore Nora Williams uses to describe her best friend Dakota. She's super great. She's just been a real asset. But Dakota's life started out much differently than Nora's. Back in May, like I knew that I'd be moving out of the dorms and I really wanted to make sure that I had a furry friend, like I, I really wanted a dog. Craigslist of all places, where Nora came across a small ad. I found Dakota and the people had advertised her as just a yellow lab that needed a home, they couldn't take care of her anymore. But they never did care for her. It was never a place Dakota could call home. She would leave Dakota outside all day long. She never got attention. It doesn't seem to me like they cared about her at all. But little did Nora know that the dog she had just rescued would soon be rescuing her. And I often all have panic attacks when there's like excessive stimuli, particularly like campus. The problem is I'll get disassociated with the environment and I just won't like, I won't connect with where I am and what's going on. Nora has struggled with panic attacks for years. Her dad suffers from them as well. And not only is it genetic, but gets worse with age. And it hasn't been easy. Medications in general, I get like all the adverse effects. So I'll get like depressed and everything. And through it all, Dakota was there as a friend and a companion. Until this summer, she became so much more. I kind of got freaked out over something. I was panicking and um, she pulled me out of the middle of the parking garage back to my car. And everything started to add up. She'll react first and she'll get really anxious. She'll pull the leash in different directions. And so I can't really continue my panic attack because it's too much of a distraction. According to the Disability Resource Center, Dakota is now one of three registered service dogs on campus, which means Nora can take her almost anywhere. She kind of knows where all my classes are. She knows like when I set a direction for myself, she'll continue in that direction. And Nora has one message to give to the owners that gave away the yellow lab they didn't think twice about. His loss. If you contacted me at this point, I wouldn't give her back. <laughs> She's mine. Dakota became the medicine that never worked for Nora before. Through Dakota's eyes, she sees an owner to love and protect. And through Nora's eyes, she sees her as more than a friend. Shake. <gasps> Good girl. She sees a hero. She definitely saved me. Brianna Whitney, Mustang News.